There is no denying it's been a rocky road for Jim Moore's team. Both injuries and inexperience have contributed. But through it all, the biggest constant has been the 300-pound rock in the middle of the offensive line. Tonight against ASU, Scott Quessenberry will be making his 40th career start at center. But it hasn't exactly been a smooth road for him either. The 22-year-old sat out all of 2015 while rehabbing from surgery on both shoulders. That physical pain was nothing compared to the emotional pain he and his family endured that year as his oldest brother David was fighting for his life. One bunch right FO Ron F. Shack Hey! Hey, three down, fan! Reach 42 Colton base. Box! Scott Quisenberry came to UCLA with an unusual level of maturity. He's so smart. He's so dedicated. He's a young man that I trust, I count on, I respect, I like. They kind of ass. They think they slick right here. For UCLA center Scott Quessenberry, football represents a brotherly bond. Throughout his life, Quessenberry has followed in the footsteps of his older brother David, now an offensive lineman for the Houston Texans. He always watches my games, I always watch his games, and we're at the point in our careers now where I'm more of an experienced player in college, and so I can tell him if I see something and he'll tell me the same thing. So it's pretty, it's, it's pretty fun playing the same positions and you know, kind of being able to work with each other and make each other better. Now for me, my brother growing up, he was always someone that I looked up to and someone that was almost indestructible. In June of 2013, David Quessenberry began experiencing fatigue and a persistent cough during Texans practices. After being taken to the hospital, David was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer known as non-Hodgkin T-lymphoblastic lymphoma. It was pretty crazy. It was a pretty tough three years for him and my family and the game was taken away from him and he never knew if he was going to get it back. So he kind of just tried to live vicariously through me and my other brother. And every time we put on the pads, we. Uh, you know, we played for him and we had extra incentive. Scott had a way of compartmentalizing it and going about the business that he needed to go about to be successful, you know, in the classroom and on the field. And yet, uh, I know that he's very close to David. You know, being around his brother when he couldn't play the game that he loved, I think it just changes your perception of the sport that you've always kind of taken for granted. On April 11th, 2017, David Questenberry finished his final chemo treatment. Now that you have completed your chemotherapy treatment, ring this bell to tell the world that you are on your way to being well. Yes. Yay! Yay! Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> now cancer free, David is back with the Texans and playing on the practice squad. It's magnificent, you know, he, he uh, talks about it all the time. The way he describes it is it's beautiful because this game is very, it's done so much for me and my family and uh, especially my brother. So it's going to be, you know, the first game he gets to play and it's going to be very special. For the past three years, he never gave up. He never stopped fighting. So every time, you know, I wake up and I think of, oh yeah, uh, yeah, today's going to suck. It's like, you know, there's no day worse than the days he's gone through. Our thanks to Scott for that. David Questenberry actually played for Mike McIntyre when he was head coach at San Jose State. I talked to Coach Mack this week, and he said David was the best captain and leader he has ever been around in all of his years of coaching. We're wishing him and his family obviously nothing but the best in the NFL and beyond.